McLaughlin is up and good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. A 10-point game, 17-7 the score as we get back to it on EA Sports. And the fair catch signaled for and taken, so they'll begin this third quarter from their 25-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively virtually. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. And that one is going to sting. First play of the third quarter and a turnover. And you have to know that at halftime, they spent a lot of time going through their checklist of what they wanted to accomplish to start this third quarter. Turning it over like this was not on that list. Not at all. You, and you come out of the locker room trailing, so that first drive to establish momentum is very key. Crucial. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there, second down. Well, partner, they've been running it well the entire game, and the big guys up front, they're a huge reason why. And now they're reaping the benefits as they continue to open up big holes and gain nice yardage. And Lance going to throw. Man on the outside. First target, first catch, and a first down. Ready, break. Quick, yellow. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. On the stop was Aaron Donald. Here's second and ten. Here's Lance to throw it. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Basically, you're not going to outwork two guys very often. Double Let's coverage. Go. I thought he was going to go somewhere else with the football. I get it. That's a stud wide receiver. You want to try to get him the football. Yeah, sometimes you rely on him a bit too much. You forget the other options that are out there. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Ready. Six, seven. Ready. Now Lance. That's dumped off to Pollard. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Now a give here to Pollard. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you want to. You're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Now Lance on the bootleg. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Touchdown, Cowboys! Tony Pollard with touchdown number 15 on the year and second of the game. And the Cowboys add six to their lead. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. Fair catch going to be taken, and this will be moved out to the 25. The L.A. offense ready to go for their next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off nowhere to go here, he lost the football. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And this is going to be brought back for a fumble return touchdown by the Cowboys. So the big fella gets on the scoreboard with a return for a touchdown. Good thing he didn't have to go too far, though. You know the trainers were very happy about that. Imagine having to go get him in the end zone, escort him to the bench, and give him the oxygen. They were loving the fact that he got in without having to run very far. 
And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. At their own 25 yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. It's a game that they would rather probably forget about, at least to this point, Charles. And one reason is turnovers. The turnover on the last drive, they had the issue in the first half as well. And that's really, unfortunately for them, helped to put this game out of reach. And you know they won't want to admit it to themselves. But we know that winning the game is pretty much out of the picture now. So their bottom line is how do they play a clean game the rest of this one, right? Take care of the football, no more turnovers, and see how that works. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Okay. About right. set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They're just looking for more of the same. Great first half so far. Good second half. And uh, sometimes, I guess, maybe, Charles, these coaches, they don't have to tell these guys much when they're rolling like they're rolling right now. You're exactly right. I've heard stories of some of the best coaches in, in our time or any time having grabbed their staffs at halftime and said, guys, they're playing really well. Don't go in there and give them a whole lot of stuff. Just pat them on the back, and essentially the speech at halftime is, let's go, guys, and that's it. Yeah, no one's upset the apple cart so far. 169 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. And having built that kind of a lead, they're able to do whatever they want right now. All momentum on their side, especially now running the football. Yeah, you're talking about a defense being on their toes. They don't know what's going to hit them next at this point. No, they went from toes to heels, and they're trying to figure out how to get back to the toes part. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. They suspected it. It was a power play up the middle coming at them. And boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. From a couple of yards beyond midfield, here's second and eight. Going to run again here with Pollard. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Well, this has been a tough one for them, Charles. They've struggled really on both sides of the football. And one thing that's really plagued them, the turnovers. They've had issues keeping them. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked by Julian Love. And the Cowboys are in great shape here as they take over at their 46-yard line. Boy, so another interception, CD. and It feels like he's starting to unravel a little bit. And as you would expect, still a work in progress here in his second season. He has to start ironing out some of these mistakes, though, because now his head coach, his offensive coaches, they have to evaluate whether you keep playing him and let him work through it or you start thinking about going to his backup. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. Second down, Pollard again. 
And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. That good for 19 at a first down. A big hole there. How about him handling the point of attack? Just positioning himself so that, that run could go right off of his backside and deep into the secondary. Now a first carry for their fullback. Pushing his way through. And he will be taken down, but a big pickup there on what's going to be the final play of the third quarter. It'll be first and goal when we come back. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Los Angeles. It's the Cowboys with the football. They'll be looking to tack on to their lead as we get set for the fourth. Come on, Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first ready. and goal. And he'll take this from the nine down to about the seven. Not a whole lot there on first and goal, and that's what you're looking for defensively. You'll certainly live with giving up just a yard or two in this situation. Ready? On second and goal, they'll give it to him again. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. A great effort there with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Cowboys start to open this lead even wider here in the fourth. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Ready, ready. The Los Angeles offense set to begin their next drive. Well, I think that the folks here had hoped that maybe this home atmosphere would carry their guys to a surprise victory, but it does not appear that that's going to be the case. There's too much to handle on the other side in this one. A good pick up there, 26 yards. That's what we're used to seeing from him right there. Plays like that, why he's number four in the league in terms of receiving yardage. Able to make adjustments all along the way. Doesn't matter where he lines up, where he releases from. Working his way into the secondary, figures out defenses and finds weak spots in order to get open. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. The Rams, they are on the move. They've got another first down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. They'll look to throw again. Underneath, pulled in by Tomlinson. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. The Rams, they are on the move. They've got another first down. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Back in the end zone, could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. On second down, a run with Evans. He takes it to the 15, a nice display of power. That gives him a nice pickup. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Ready. They'll try and run for it with Evans. And all the way down inside the five to the four. So that time they get the tight end on the hold. Normally he's a pretty good run blocker, but this time he just didn't get his arms extended and let go quickly enough. The flag okay, came out break. as a result. And this third down looking very tough after the holding penalty. Third and long. They'll look to throw. Oh, and that is incomplete. 
even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. Cup 19! Cup 19! As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. Now, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. They go play action here on first down. Under pressure now, and he's going to go down. Sack back around the eight. A big loss there of about seven yards on first and goal, so now it's second down. Let's go. 60 bison, 60 bison. Ready, ready. Now back to throw. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. Odell Beckham from eight yards out. And the Rams get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. The Rams leave the offense on the field. They'll go for two. They'll look to throw. And they're going to get the two-point conversion caught in the end zone. And that cuts the lead a bit further. The Rams kickoff team on the field, and here we go with the ball in the air. And he'll elect not to run with it, and the fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the 25. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. It's been a dominant performance to this point, Charles, and this is probably exactly how they scripted this and envisioned it. They got a three-score lead, fourth quarter, and a chance if they want to continue to pour it on here. It is their call, isn't it? I mean, the way that they have taken on this game and the way that they have carried this game and have dominated this game, you're exactly right. Do what you want down the stretch. We are in the era of, hey, if you don't want us to do this to you, then you need to stop us. Their call to finish this one off. On second down now, Randall. He's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. Brings up fourth down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. Here's J.K. Scott now as he's on to punt for Dallas. This is taken at the 23. It's a 45-yard punt, but a decent return there of nine yards. And out will come the offense as they take over. The L.A. offense ready to go for their next drive. It's now appearing that this losing streak is going to continue. You know, the coaching staff was confident that this was going to be the game to stem the tide, but that just has not been the case. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. They'll look to throw now on first down, escaping the pressure right. He'll flip this out to Evans. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. So the completion good for seven there. 
And it'll be second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. And now it appears that the referee's been buzzed and we'll get a review. And this being inside two minutes of play, everything coming from up above. So the folks in New York just going to wind up confirming what the official saw as this play will stand as is. That is caught at the seven. Touchdown. A great play there with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Rams are able to cut into that deficit. Let's go. They're going to keep it on the ground. And he is not going to get in here. So the decision to go for two does not pay off as they're unable to cut any further into their deficit. The Rams kickoff team on the field. And here we go with the ball in the air. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. And they take a knee. And they'll indeed take a knee. Okay, ready? So this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys. And they were booing Charles by a big second half to put this one on ice. And I know a lot of people watching this one we're thinking to themselves, I bet halftime was really interesting. Probably took the paint off the walls with some of the words that were said. <laughs>